an ETF that just hones in on that one commodity? Well, that, that's a good question. Most investors will uh, are familiar with investing in things with which they're familiar. And so many people have uh, energy in their portfolio as a core holding. And grains, uh, which is what we focus on, energy and ags, the big grain products, they actually are in everyone's life. So corn, for instance, um, that touches everyone. If you go to a service station, you fill up your tank, you're probably using about a bushel of corn because of the ethanol content. But if you go inside and get a, you know, a taco snack or one of those beef jerky, jerky sticks that they sell, that's actually corn's number one global use as animal feed. Uh, corn holds paper together because of corn starch. Um, it sweetens just about everything. So if you drink or eat something with a sweetener in it, it's likely corn syrup. So how much volatility should investors expect? When you look at the performance of the ETF, it peaked last year about 52. It's not gone back up since then. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it tracks corn prices. So what are the expectations for how this fund is going to perform this year? And is there a way that you see a mitigation away from some of the volatility in the actual future? Um, investors should expect volatility when they trade any commodities linked product. That's the nature of, of the beast, if you will. But the, the corn will track, the corn fund will track the price of corn futures, and investors should be aware of that. We find that in, in times of surplus, and in commodities, particularly ags, are very cyclical. So in times of surplus, you will see the price go down. That actually attracts more asset allocation money and people looking to buy on down cycles to diversify. So th that's what we see. You have uh, ETF products for what you just mentioned, soybeans, wheat, you have sugar, energy you mentioned. Is there room for any other single commodity ETF or is that market pretty much spent? I mean, there are others. There's canola, there's cocoa. I mean, can you actually go there or is that something we won't see in the near future? I don't think it's something you'll see in the near future. It's very difficult now. It's a prolonged process to list new product. Investors like metals, they like energies, they like the big grains. Um, we've been asked to do coffee, we've been asked to do rice, we've been asked to do cotton. Uh, none of those are on the near-term horizon.